Hello there, JW Strugglers. I am driving home from work. I have to share some things with you. I have had a very good week and a very good day. Now, I tell you what, the week started off with a new interview that you are going to love. This guy, Isaac is his name, fascinating man, tons of experience, used to be an elder, used to work at Bethel, and he was in the uh, remodeling of the Stanley Theater and some of the other convention centers. He was like a commuter Bethelite is really what I meant to say. Amazing guy, uh, knows a lot of inside info, and we talked about Bethel stuff, inside stuff, what he saw written on the president of the Watchtower Society's agenda on a desk in his office, some interesting, interesting stuff. Now, first of all, before I get to that though, I've been working on a new music video. Uh, you're gonna like it, it's long overdue, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time, but neither one of those things are what this video is about. Finally, I'm getting to the topic of this. I've got three videos going right now this week, and I love it when I have lots to do in the work of the unwitnessing for the Lord. As, it's, as, it's, as it is. So what I've got is a conversation. I had a conversation today, only a couple of hours ago, with a lady named Shauna. Now, Shauna works as a casting director for a company that makes reality TV shows. Shauna is the real deal. This is a real company that makes reality TV shows. Now, my question to you, all of you that are getting out of the cult mindset, that are escaping Jehovah's Witnesses, fundamentalism, uh, whether it's uh, from uh, these Jewish cults, Scientologist cults, Mormonism cults, uh, LDS, I said that, excuse me, Mormonism, <laughs> Seventh-day Adventist, that's what I was thinking of. No matter what you've escaped from, Shauna is a casting producer. She is looking for people that want to tell their story of getting out, of changing their religious beliefs, of getting out of a cult. If you've been shunned, perhaps you're Amish, perhaps you're Scientologist, perhaps you're a former Jehovah Witness, and you're going through that. Ideally, Shauna told me she's looking for folks that have uh, been out of the religion for no more than six months to a year, or are still in and are in the process of wanting to get out and have the courage and have the, uh, the position to be able to go on TV and have cameras follow you for some of your life, to share your struggles, to share what you're going through. Now, is this getting you a little bit excited? It got me very excited because Shauna was able to reach out and to communicate with me to see if I could help her find some people. Now, I did suggest to her a very handsome, smooth-headed man with a big beard that might be good for her show, but alas, you know, I'm busy. I've got other plans. Anyways, that's another story. Uh, they may have to make a whole separate reality show just for me, which would be wildly successful, by the way. So, Shauna, if you're listening, think about that. Let's, let's talk. Let's have lunch. Let's work on the new reality show um, about, you know, um, JW Struggle, you know, apostate enemy number one of the global Watchtower Corporation's uh, worth billions of dollars. It's a perfect David and Goliath story. Anyway, it's not about me. It's supposed to be about you, and it's supposed to be about these folks that are escaping cult mind control, escaping the social influence of Watchtower, parading around as a religion, controlling the Jehovah's Witnesses, who individually are lovely people for the most part, nice people for the most part. Same thing with many of these other cult-like groups when you don't know what's happening among the leadership, when you don't know where the money is going, you see, and when there's secret societies, secret rituals, secret handshakes, secret undergarments, 
When things secret handbooks like the elder handbook that Jehovah's Witness elders use, see, when the stuff like that happens, when that's going on, if you're a part of that group, you have to stop and wonder, and you owe it to yourself and to your loved ones to do some independent research, to, to look into what you're doing and what you're involved in and find out. Talk to former members. If a group says, oh, you can't talk to former members, that's a red flag, that's a warning sign. If they demonize, if they make pariahs, if they uh, shun and ostracize former members or anyone that's critical of the group, that's a red flag, that's a big warning sign because that, my friend, is a sign of a cult or a cult-like group. A group that exerts social influence, social pressure and control upon a person's life upon their mind and upon their thinking okay so we're talking about a reality show that is going to have people that have left their former religion their religious belief system and have had dramatic effects afterwards oh my goodness this sounds familiar and how many of you JW strugglers are watching this that know somebody that they could do this or you are that somebody that could do this. Now, I did ask Sean, I said, look, what is going to be required of this person? What, what are you going to expect of them to do, at least to begin with? And she told me they are casting a pilot. A pilot is the first episode of a show that a company hopes will get picked up by a network and they'll get lots more shows. So they are casting a pilot and there will be compensation if the pilot gets picked up. They're looking for people that are willing to take one week, one week, have the cameras following them around, do some interviews, do some stand-ups, do some, you know, just living of your life, talking about what's going on with you um, for a week. And if you're a candidate, if you fit this, if your story is compelling, which a lot of you out there, I'm sure it is, then if you're willing to take a week and have them follow you about, they're going to use that to make a pilot. And again, if the pilot gets picked up, it could become a well-known show, you know, like um, Breaking Amish, uh, The Little People, Long Island Madam, whatever, you know, there's lots and lots of reality shows and I'm just randomly listing a couple. So, Obviously, the Breaking Amish one deals with ones that have left a controlling religion, obviously, as well. So that one's a little more germane. So I hope that this gets you excited. I'm going to put Shauna's email and phone number in the description of this video. So contact her and and take the plunge. You know, if if you're a candidate for that, they're looking for someone that has left their religion or is going to leave their religion, a big change, you're caught up in or you were caught up in fundamentalism or any kind of controlling religion, Jehovah's Witnesses, they particularly, Shauna told me, they are particularly looking for a former or fading stealth mode Jehovah's Witness. They are looking for that. Shauna was quite impressed with JW's struggle. And also what was interesting is that Shauna didn't know. She's just a regular person, as far as I can tell. She seems like a lovely person. She didn't know anything about the pernicious, secretive, sneaky tactics that the Watchtower corporations use to control people and to turn them into paying customers for the rest of their life. Paying customers for the rest of their life, going to the drive up window of the Kingdom Hall, you know, twice and three times and more per week, and donating for their uh, building remodel sham stuff, donating and giving their money for their conventions with their fake numbers of how much money per publisher, thanking you ahead of time for your generous donations when they announce that they're $4,000 in the hole in a deficit. Uh, it's all a scam, my friends. You already probably know that. I'm preaching to the choir. But the point is, this could be something big. And when I say big, I mean big in that the sense that we can inoculate the public, we can educate people and let them know that 
the Jehovah's Witness religion is a front. It is a front for the Watchtower Corporation to make lots and lots of tax-free money. It is a front for a sham pseudo-religion that masquerades around and gives people, uh, you know, something to do, gets them very busy, annoying and door knocking on people on Saturdays and Sundays and Fridays and every days, and uh, uh, papering the the countryside with their leaflets. The the Watchtower and the Awake are not even magazines anymore. They're little tiny, flimsy, limp leaflets. The Watchtower and Awake are limp leaflets and now they're even phasing them out because they found that they can make more money by remodeling Kingdom Halls where there's nothing wrong with them. They can make more money by getting some elderly Jehovah Witness to donate their estate and their house and their stocks and their bonds to Watchtower Inc. Watchtower Incorporated. And so this is what we want to expose. Now, maybe this doesn't fit you, but you know somebody. Go after that person in a nice way. Contact them. Let them know. Have them watch this. Give them Shauna's number and or email address, and let's make it happen. So uh, just once again, things are always happening. Things are on the move. We are making progress. Those of us that know TAP, that know the truth about the truth, are not going to stop and they're not going to give up. So thanks again for watching. Take care, strugglers. We'll see you next time. Please.